We know that n is a positive integer, so that means k is going to be larger than 5.1. It's not going to be, it's going to be a big number, not a little number. And we're trying to figure out what the value of k is. So I've written down clue one, k is between 6,000 and 500,000. But we want to figure out exactly what is k, because this is a range. Well, let's look at 5.1 times 10 to the n. If n is 1, that gives me 51. Because 5.1 times 10 just moves your decimal one place to the right. If n equals 2, you've got 5.1 times 100. That's going to move it two places to the right, or 510. If n is 3, that's going to be another 0. If n is 4, that's going to be another 0. Okay. And if n is 5, it's another 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if k is between 6,000 and 500,000, not including... Between 6,000 and 500,000, there's only one choice. So that means K has to be 51,000. So clue one works. Now let's look at clue two. Clue two says K squared equals 2.601 times 10 to the ninth. Once again, we're trying to find the value of K. So let's solve this equation for K. And we do that by taking the square root of both sides. So that's going to give me, normally you get a plus or minus here, but we're only doing with a positive. Just wanted to review that. K equals, uh, well, I don't like this 2, 6. You know, that, 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 part, that right there is good enough. This is a number. You can stop right there. You know, you that's, that's good enough. It says, what's the value of K? Well, it's the square root of 2.601 times 10 to the ninth. Um, that's good enough. Done. One worked. Two worked. D. They both work.